Hi guys, Sharice here from Pieces Calligraphy. In this video, we're going to review the overturn stroke. The overturn stroke is another basic stroke every brush calligrapher should know. And if you've been tuning in the past few weeks, you've seen the other strokes in my basic stroke series, the entrance stroke and the underturn stroke. And to those of you who are sharing your work on Instagram, thank you so much. I really love seeing your progress and it helps to see what your questions are. So keep on posting. And if you want to join us on Instagram, post a photo of your practice and include the hashtag pieces underscore basic strokes. I check out the hashtag when I get a chance and I love just co connecting with you all and practicing these basic strokes with you. So let's get into the overturn stroke. The overturn stroke is an upside down U shape and it's actually only used in a few letters. So these are underturn strokes here and what it what I'm basically doing is if you can imagine, this is the waistline and this is the baseline of my, of my letters. I'm starting at the baseline with a thin upstroke and then I touch the waistline still with a thin upstroke and then after I come around for the curve going down is when I apply thicker, is when I create the thick downstroke by applying more pressure. So if you've seen in previous videos on, on pressure and thin and thick, strokes you'll remember thin up and thick down so thin upstroke or light pressure touch the waistline and when i curve back around that's when i do the thick down stroke and apply more pressure okay and the key to know is that that transition doesn't start until after you hit the waistline. Don't don't start be don't start the thick downstroke until after you've touched the waistline, curve back around. It's pretty quick. It's not halfway down or anything. It's it's just right after, but you don't want to get too thick up high. It It's just not as elegant as if you have that if you keep the thinness and then transition afterward. And let's do the two letters that I've identified that have the overturned stroke, the letter M and then the letter N. You'll see that the letter M has two overturn strokes and then the letter N has one and it's these two are followed by the compound stroke which we'll actually talk about next week spoiler alert okay and then I'm gonna quickly go over a couple of practices that you can try you can simply just do the overturn stroke by itself and repeat it do just single ones isolate the stroke like that and as I've mentioned in previous videos go back and critique yourself I went a little too past the baseline here and some of these are a little too upright so you really want to work on that slant and we'll talk later about whether or not you need to do that slant and how to find your own style but in keeping up with my style, I like to do them at more of a slant. And then you can also connect them together. It's like a bunch of M's. And the key to connecting them is that you're actually not connecting them in one fluid motion. See how I'm lifting up my pen? And you've probably noticed with my other videos that I do lift up the pen, even though the goal is to make it look like a connected 
stream of, of strokes here. And, <clears throat> and just a tip, when I'm lifting up the pen for the overturn stroke, I'm lifting it up so that my thin hairline starts on the outside of that thick down stroke. You see that? This is different than if I did not lift it up and just, you know, did my thin upstroke there. See how now there's less space in this connection between the, the top of the strokes. So make sure to lift and start your thin upstroke on the outside of that downstroke. And then just for fun, I am excited to do this word for you because it has an overload of overturn strokes and you can try practicing this word too. The fun thing about this word is it actually uses a couple of strokes we've already talked about. So there's your overturn stroke. There's your entrance stroke, if you can notice it here, followed quickly by the underturn stroke in the eye. And then again, more overturn strokes. And here's an underturn stroke. Isn't that fun? The only stroke that's in here that we haven't discussed is the compound stroke, which is when you, I'll do a quick preview, when you st when you do a thin upstroke, transition to a thick downstroke, and then you transition again to a thin upstroke. So the thickness is really isolated in between here. So we'll talk about that next week. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. And also follow me on Instagram to see my latest work and to keep up with my pieces, basic stroke series. Please post your work. I love hearing from you and seeing your progress. And also um, I will have a link to the actual blog post that goes along with this video with pictures and more of an explanation in case you missed it in the video. So thanks again for watching and have a great week.